Okay, so about uh, the event uh, today, what are uh, the main, uh, the most important things to discuss about? Well, this is a very unique time in history. For the first time in many years, nuclear energy is back at the forefront of the energy discussion around the world, particularly here in Europe. Like-minded countries in Europe are pursuing new nuclear power plants for the first time in a generation. But we also, and this was stated very clearly in the opening session, we also have a responsibility to make sure that we deal with nuclear waste. Now, nuclear waste is not the out-of-control, dangerous material that people seem to think. It is, of course, highly radioactive, and it has to be isolated from uh, the environment and from the public. But we know how to do that. And it has been done around the world. And the purpose of workshops like this is to share the wisdom and knowledge about how we've successfully managed and disposed of nuclear waste, both low-level waste and also spent fuel from nuclear power plants. We have knowledge to share. There are people from around the world here to discuss, and also to discuss how to communicate to the public about these important issues as we go forward. And we have to be successful because, as you know, we face a climate crisis. And it's a crisis we will not be able to solve unless nuclear power expands around the world. About um, radioactive uh, waste management, uh, what are the most uh, important things to be careful about? Well, the most important thing is to plan and to take the steps necessary to both find the right sites to dispose of nuclear waste and to engage the public in the conversation about those sites. Uh, the mistake has been made in many countries to simply identify a site without public input and what we have found is those aren't sustainable decisions. So the important thing is to cl work closely with public stakeholders, everyone who has an interest, to answer questions, to have the dialogue, to consider alternatives, but to move forward and to move forward in a careful, scientifically based way with a lot of public input. That is most important to be successful. Thank you very much. Just one more question. Uh, Germany and Austria are uh, against nuclear power and uh, they are uh, uh, putting down the, the plant, uh, their plants. Uh, how can you calm down the fear of population uh, of the general public who was teach for 40 years to, to be afraid of this energy? Well, what we see around the world is that people recognize that there's no perfect energy solution, that, um, that all energy forms have their positives and negatives. Um, renewables are excellent and they help in, the, in many areas, but they're also still more expensive than some other alternatives and also they have variable um, generation, which means that you can't base your economy just on renewables. You have to have baseload supply as well. Um, not all countries um, are going to take the same path. Uh, not all countries are going to build nuclear power plants, and that's perfectly fine. They may have other alternatives. For example, countries that have um, relationships where they can uh, import electricity from other countries, um, sometimes countries that operate nuclear power plants, gives them the ability to make different choices. But overall, um, the analysis shows over and over again Unless nuclear capacity expands around the world, we're not going to meet the climate challenge. But also recognize that nuclear will not do this by itself. Nuclear is part of a portfolio of technologies, including wind, including solar and geothermal, um, that will make a big difference as we go forward. But if we're going to meet the climate crisis um, challenge, we are going to need every tool in our toolkit, and that includes nuclear energy.